Hi, Hiram here. I got my old wood gas stove version 1.2 out of mothballs. I thought I'd give it another try today. Of course, like always, now the wind's got to pick up, so I'll have to see what happens. I've got it full of wood chips. I hope you can see that. Except this time, it's not filled up to the level of the upper holes. I think that's where I was making a big mistake before. Here I have some accelerant, those fire cubes. Let's start this. I think you can see how it's a little windy. Okay, the temperature's dropping. This was, the water was up to 63 degrees. I've only been out here for about five minutes. The room, the ambient temperature out here is about 41 degrees. Not as cold as it could be, but it's a little chilly with the, with the breeze. I should have started this. I'm going to let this burn for about four or five minutes, and then I'll be back. As you can see, it's really getting windy. This has only been burning for about a minute. I think I'm going to have to put the windshield on it, windscreen rather. Okay, the fire's been going for about five minutes now. My temperature in my cup, my pan rather, is dropping. It's down to 57 degrees, so I'm going to give this a try now. So I've got two cups of water here, setting at 57 degrees. And let's see where this goes. I'm probably going to have to add wood to this. Look how it's jumping up real fast. So anyway, let's see where this goes. Okay, this time I haven't been treating it like a hobo stove, just filling in wood and keeping it piled up. I just add a little bit so that it's down in the burner. And even though it's windy, this has been burning a whole lot better this time. I don't know if you can see the hope you can see the thermometer. It's up to 96 degrees already in just going on eight minutes. The outside temperature, like I said, is about 41 degrees and breezy. So let's see what happens. How long it takes to get up to 212? Okay, there we have 210. 211, 212 in 11 minutes, 19 seconds, 11 minutes and 19 seconds, that was two cups of water, Oops. that was two cups of water starting at, come on, the flames are starting to go out because I didn't keep filling it up but uh, this worked a little bit better today than what I did in the old test I just didn't keep filling it up like it was a hobo stove tried to use it like a wood gas stove although there is some soot on the pot get a glow. This uh, hickory might not have been as dry as I hoped it was. Can you see that? There is some soot. Doesn't look like as bad as it was with the wood pellets, but there's some there. Okay, now I've got just coals going on down here now. Be interesting to see what's left over. But that was my wood gas stove version 1.2 being used a little more correctly than it was in the last test that I did a long time ago. So I thank you for watching. I may just do the fruit stove if I have anybody that's interested in it. If not, I'll be going on to some other wood burners that I have, including another one that I got for Christmas from the family. So. 
I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Know you've been a good friend. And that's in the second